Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new win letter O mode Android which was released just a few days ago which is supposedly one of the best windows emulators for Android devices and you can even run the modded version of GTA 5 with the graphics mod pack on this windows emulator for Android. I'll be talking about its setup, best settings and gameplay so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel. Let's get started. So basically win letter O mode was released. We saw this winlator o mode a fork version of the normal winlator android with new features and better performance about few months ago and now it has got a brand new logo along with that major change log to start off the winlator o mode version 10.1 was released last week and it has some major improvements you guys can see it is based off winlator 10.1 from the bruno dev the main developer of winlator android along with that added 10.15 prefix replaced dxvk version added the latest input controls added winlator c modes environment variable to provide more accessibility and performance which is very important as you guys know winlator c mode is the best windows emulator for android in terms of performance along with that change color palette so this emulator gets a brand new theming it gets a brand new logo and more dxvk wrappers than the normal winlator android and lot more features so right here you guys can see i have added the winlator o mode on my android device let's just go ahead and launch it and you guys can see the brand new theming that you get now these winlator folks are actually amazing and let me explain why compared to the original winlator android they provide more features more on-screen touch control layout and even better compatibility towards game more dx wrappers more graphics drivers and so on and as this is a folk version of winlator 10.1 it even has the mali gpu support which is really amazing if you guys do want me to test out winlator o mode on a mali gpu android device then do let me know in the comment section down below in terms of box 64 version make sure to choose the best box 64 according to the game that you are trying to emulate for today's video we'll go with the latest box 64 0.3.6 version will create the box 64 performance preset as usual by duplicating it and setting the safe flags level to zero now we have the brand new performance preset tap on the enter button let's start off by creating ourselves a brand new container of winlator o mode screen size slash resolution as 800 by 600 graphics driver as uh, this is the folk version of winlator o mode not the c mode in c mode bionic we used to get wrapper graphics driver but here we get the vortex graphics driver so in terms of vortex graphics driver make sure to keep everything as default afterwards tap on the ok button in terms of dx wrapper make sure to choose dxvk and version by default is 2.4.11 but i don't really prefer this version i'll go with the dxvk 2.4.1 and just take a look at how much dxvk wrappers we get inside this version of winlator android you can even go with 2.6.1 and so on but for today's video 2.4.1 is the best dx wrapper in my opinion so i'll go with it in terms of audio driver i'll set it to pulse audio let's go to the advanced section performance one preset has been chosen startup selection as aggressive and windows version will set it to windows 7. now i want to tell you guys that this emulator in itself as it is not the folk version of winlater c mode it's not comparable to winlater c mode obviously winlater c mode is clear in terms of amazing features that it provides but i want to see if the performance is actually better in this version of winlater so let's just go ahead and play our container and see how well does it actually work so here we go once our emulator starts we'll toggle full screen and towards the left side you will see the brand new winlater o mode logo we also get features such as active windows etc screen effect pip mode and so on let's go to the start section first and here you guys can see lot of sections have been created which is specific to winlater o mode this is not present in the winlater normal version android or even the c mode of winlater android we'll just go ahead and go to directx 11 test to see how much fps do we get and towards the left side of your screen you guys can see on my snapdragon 8 elite processor android device we are getting more than 5000 fps while running this directx 11 test let's take a look at the directx 12 test as well and no it fails because we need to use vkd3d for directx 12 in today's video as i mentioned before we'll be trying out grand theft auto 5 with the graphical mod pack that i have in this game it should look much more amazing and impressive and there are only few versions of winlater android which are capable of running gta 5 modded version so here we go our game is about to begin as you guys can see rockstar games let's just go ahead and swipe back go to input controls and here 
will enable the FPS input control if you are playing an FPS game. This works really well. But if you want to play GTA 5, you can also go to input controls, then settings, import the GTA 5 input touch control profile. So here we go. I'll tap on it, tap on OK. Now, guys, I have natural vision evolved and can't be mode pack inside the GTA 5, which I have just launched. But unfortunately, that has not been recognized. We are seeing the normal loading screen of GTA 5 not the quant v version regardless here we go our game has successfully started but i am already seeing lot of stuttering issues but first of all let's tap on the escape button go to graphics setting and change the screen resolution to full screen and disable vsync to see if we get more than 60 fps but this game is lagging so much it is freezing every two seconds let's just go ahead and press the space button and keep the settings tap on the enter button and once again you guys can see stuttering issue here and there so that is a bit annoying but here we go even with vsync turned off you guys can see the fps results for yourself we are not getting more than 30 fps which is actually very poor if you ask me we should be at least getting 60 fps and once again the game froze for a few seconds and now it's back to life so what i mean is compared to game of windows emulator android i mean you shouldn't really compare it but compared to win later c mode where we actually get 44 to 45 fps win later o mode doesn't give the same amount of performance because it is not the folk version of win later c mode it is the folk version of original win later android in my opinion i would still recommend you guys to go with the win later c mode instead because it is feature rich it is pretty amazing uh, there is only one issue and that is the on screen touch controls disappearing randomly but other than that win later c mode i guess is the best win later folk for now win later o mode you can definitely try it out if you have low end device it might work better but as you can see once again the game had randomly frozen for few seconds so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching let me know in the comment section down below your opinions and thoughts about this windows emulator i'll see you guys next time goodbye